that? Drum roll. This is the first time. Drum roll. It's hot. guys so this is gonna be a real quick dish I'm gonna do for you tonight so basically if you're coming home from work and you got a real quick meal you want to make this is it I've already gone ahead and I've boiled about five potatoes I've already peeled them I've mashed them so they're sitting on the side I'm basically gonna take this this is sweet uh, pork sausage that I have here and I have some onions um, some red peppers I'm gonna add some garlic and I'm gonna add some olive oil. I'm gonna put this in the, in the pan and I'm going to brown this all up for you. And then basically after that, we're gonna drain off the excess oil, put it in a baking pan, add the potatoes on top with some cheese, bake that bad boy in the oven. And when I tell you it's gonna be so good, anybody out there that likes shepherd's pie, you're gonna like this little twist that I got. So I'll be right back. Let's get started. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm browning up the uh, the pork, the sweet pork sausage that was out of the casing. And I just added a little pepper, a little cayenne pepper, a drop of seasoned salt, uh, some um, onion powder, garlic powder. I'm gonna brown this all up, and then I'm gonna add in those red peppers, the onions, and the garlic. And uh, then this bad boy will be ready for the potatoes to go on top and the cheese. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm browning the sausage and I just added the onion, the uh, red sweet pepper, and the garlic. So let me get this all translucent in this pan and then I'm gonna transfer this all into my baking dish. I'm gonna add the mashed potatoes like I told you that I previously made. And again, if you are in a real rush, you could do instant mashed potatoes. I really wouldn't recommend it. But if you really need to, you can do instant mashed potatoes on top and then your cheese of choice goes on top of the mashed potatoes and the oven we go. Be right back. Hey guys, so as you can see, I now have everything browned. I have the vegetables in here. I have the red peppers. I have the onion. I have the garlic. And now the meat and everything is thoroughly cooked. I'm now going to transfer this into a buttered pan. I'm going to add these mashed potatoes on top. And I'm gonna add cheese. It could be any cheese that you like. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a taco blend cheese on top of this with a, a little extra cheddar because you know I'm a cheddar fan. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like. I'll be right back. This is what it looks like. Now I'm just gonna layer this with some cheddar jack and then some regular cheddar on top. This is gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes. And when I tell you, this is the quickest, most tastiest little dish that you could do if you're coming home from work or if you're just not in the mood to really just like slave over that stove, try this. I promise you, you're gonna love it. So I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. I'll be right back. Hey guys. So I'm back and this is the final result of my version of shepherd's pie. I have my son-in-law Eli here, my grandson Elijah. So Eli is gonna do the honors of tasting this for me and letting you guys know how to try it, how this tastes. And I do hope that you try this. You gonna try some too? You gonna try some of that? I just wanna watch. You wanna watch? Boys, you gotta try some, you gotta try some. Yeah. Okay, that's all. I've heard of shepherd's pie so many times, but never, never with the so, pork. 
I know, right? So, drum roll. The first time. Drum roll. It's hot.